Did you try to implement the coordinator pattern in Swift UI? I think we all did. ES16 finally brings us a tool to do that. The architectural pattern for this in Swift UI natively is shown on the screen. The coordinator, an observable class, is responsible for preparing and programmatically managing the views, almost the same as in UIKit. It will do that by managing states, our published properties. Since in Swift UI, a view is responsible for presenting other views, we will have one main view dedicated to presenting state changes from the coordinator. A change state will trigger presenting other views. Action on view or companion view model will call a method in the coordinator responsible for changing the app state, which will trigger the next view to be presented. In this small example, we wouldn't implement view model, model, series, etc. The data, for example, will be a part of the coordinator and it will be very simple. The aim of this video is to present you how to use the coordinator pattern natively in Swift UI, not to create an app. In your real app, you should properly deal with your models, models, services, etc. Let's start with the project. Now we will have only one simple project to show coordinator pattern in Swift UI. We need coordinator pattern, so we will create the class which will represent the coordinator pattern. This class will be responsible for all logic of presenting different pages, navigate through pages, showing pop-ups, etc. How we will programmatically navigate through the app through different functions. So let's create functions which we'll need for navigate through the application. For example, go home to go back to the main page. Then a function which will show product list. And for example, function will, which will show the product details. Also, we want to programmatically show some sheets. So let's create one method, go pop up, which will present sheet when this method is running. That means we can pop up this sheet from any page where we, from which we call this function. In order to create this, we will create all pages we want to navigate through as the enum, and we will have the list of pages, home, list, product detail. Similar, we will create a new list of all sheets we want to present in our app. For this simple example, we will use only one sheet pop up. We will call it pop up. For this simple example, we will use just the array of strings as the product list. We need to create publisher for pages for our views to know exactly on which view we are in current moment and same things for the sheets. Sheets can be null, that means sheet is not presented or sheet can 
have one of those enum values, that means that that particular sheet will be presented. In US 16, we have paths, navigation paths, and that is the mechanic we use for navigating through our views. For go home, that means we will remove all that we have in this navigation path and go back to the uh, root that is our home. And for any other uh, page, we will just add that page in the path. For product details, we need product. And for this simple example we currently building, we will use just string as current product in coordinator for any more complicated project, you will use something else, some model and some store or something else for dealing with that. And that's it. We have all methods for programmatically navigate through our application. Now we will create all those views. Each view will be created separately and dependent of rest of the applications and anything that is connecting those view will be coordinator. So we need to have coordinator on all our views and we will have it as the environment object. This complex view will be our home view home page it will be root view of our application and this view will have two buttons one button for creating link to product list and second button for creating a pop-up to presenting the pop-up Let's create next view, next page. This view will be list product view. And first we will fix the preview to have coordinator, to have navigation stack, to be able to build the struct list product view and see everything we do in this preview. And then we will create this list product view. List product view will have list of our products. And we will add button for pop-up to show that we can present pop-up for any view. Same pop-up.
as you can see, we don't use navigation link. We just call appropriate method in coordinator and coordinator will do everything what is needed for presenting next view. Next view will be product detail view. And here we will just show the detail of selected product. Also, we will create the button to go back to the root view, our home view. Same as in previous view, we will provide going back to root view by calling appropriate coordinator method. and we need one view for presenting the pop-up. It will be very simple, just view with one text. Now we have all our independent views that we need somehow connect them together and to do that we need some view swift ui need views to present other views and for that reason we need view where we will do all the calling for appropriate views and presenting those views and we will call it main page. And here we will create a navigation stack. And we will call in our navigation stack that we created in coordinator. And any change in coordinator methods will create call in this navigation stack and call our method get page for calling other page. For a start, we will call home page as the root page. And for any other change, we will call, appro call appropriate function here in coordinator. And changing of path here will produce calling the new get page method, which will provide new view. 
What we need here? We need here the method which will generate views and presenting those views. To create that, we will use View Builder and we will switch to page because our get page will receive the enum, one value from the enum. And for different values, we will create different view. So changing in our page published value will provide new page and get page method will call appropriate view. So if we send home, it will return content view. If we send in this get page method list, it will call list product view and for detail it will call detail view. Similar method we will create for sheet. We in this example have only one sheet, but if you have more than one, it will work the same thing, same way. Here in our main page, we will be able to call other pages just cross through coordinator. So in order to do that, we need to create sheet for presenting sheet and we need to create navigation destination to provide going to specific page. Let's first create sheet. Sheet will receive item. Item is the our sheet, my sheet. And for now, we can just send pop-up. Navigation destination is for our my page annual and different page will call different page to show as you can see on our demo right. And that's it. We have programmatically go to all our views using coordinator pattern, coordinator class, and this main page, it just provides the way to present our views. And this is very useful because we can add other things. For example, for deep linking, we can here create an open URL and then calling appropriate coordinator page for that. Please like, share, subscribe, and most importantly, comment. Is it useful for you? Will you use it in your app? And what next do you want to see? Thank you.